Hello YouTube people who are watching me right now. I'm wearing my foreskin, floppy foreskin hat because Kegman finds it hilarious and I live to please him. Mmm. I was going to do this video on Friday or Saturday but I've got enough, I've actually got a substantial amount of questions. Didn't even think I'd get more than three. I've got quite a few questions, I've had to cut some out how good's that. So here's, um, here's some answers to those questions. Kegman asks, where do you see this channel in five months time, eight months time and two weeks time? In five months time, I would like to have a hundred subscribers. That would be my my goal at the moment because I don't want a huge subscriber base. I just want people who are interested in watching me. And I feel like if a hundred people subscribe to me because of what I do, I feel quite accomplished. In eight months time, I'd like that to double actually to 200 because I'd like to think that 100 would like to share me to their friends. That would be quite nice. And in two weeks time, nothing will change. Two subscribers maybe, a few more comments and likes. Two weeks time, nothing's going to happen in that time. Sorry, so don't, what a, oh. Lexi Lollipop asks, if you had a chance to change three things in your life, past or present, what would they be? When I was 15, I had to have uh, an operation on a very sensitive male area. Um, if you don't have it in six hours, then you can't have it. You have to have a different operation that removes something very sensitive to males. Um, so the first thing I'd change is my right testicle wouldn't have done a backflip on me. Sort of. I had torsion. Go and search it if you want. The second thing I would change is that I would have been a bit more serious when me and my two best friends had a band together and we just had a great laugh. It wasn't about, oh, we're going to make it big one day. We just really enjoyed it. We did Britney Spears, Bob Marley. We did NWA, which went into the game in 50 Cent and we just had a great time. I wish we'd done more with that um, while we all had the chance and weren't at separate ends of the country. So I'm gutted we didn't do that and hopefully we pick it up again one day. The third thing I'd change is... Um, is be more confident when I was in school. Um, quite early on in school, I grew my hair to about this long, um, and I got ridiculed quite a bit. Um, I had a good group of friends, um, and they were all right, but I got ridiculed and it shot my confidence a bit, and I wish I'd have been then like I am now, which is when I kind of just don't care what people think of me anymore, um, unless they're really close to me. I just brush off comments uh, that are degrading to me, so wish I'd have been more confident in school. Ha! Ah, I'm not a loser. Benerma Field asks, what are your views on spanking? In any context you're willing to take it, I'm always willing to take it. I Am The Boulder asks, what is your favourite album? I thought long and hard about this. Um, I've always had listened to, because my parents listened to it when I was young, and then I grew up listening to it and kept listening to them, Bon Jovi. And they recently released um, Bon Jovi Greatest Hits, The Ultimate Collection, which has most of my favourite songs on it, and a few which have become my favourite songs by them. Um, so I'd go with Bon Jovi, Greatest Hits, Ultimate Collection, but there are tons of albums I could have said here. I, I love music, so it's a hard question for me. I'm Riding Soulful from Twitter asks, do you have a role model, someone you want to emulate? I have quite a few role models, mostly YouTubers, who I'm impressed they've got so big, that just, just from talking to a camera like this, it's, it's quite amazing really. And actors and actresses, um, I find it all amazing that people get so big off their own merit. Um, someone I want to emulate? No. Um, if I ever got big, I'd want it to be off my own merit, um, not because I have emulated someone. I would want it to be my skills. I don't really have any skills, but you know, I'd like it to be off my own back, be it um, just, getting, just getting quite high in a company, perhaps inventing something, um, which is probably what I'll do because I'm fairly useless at everything else. Maybe one day I'll just come up with a great idea and that'll be it. Um, but I don't want to emulate anyone, no. I'd like to um, just make my own way to my own personal top. Fusion asks, do you think that swish thing on your hair, that swish thing on my hair, do you think that swish thing on your hair will bring you lots of female fans? Come on, I am knee deep in put. Finally, Lumpy Space Princess asks, do you guys have chavs in Liverpool? I know it's a pretty aggressive place, but do you have like those illiterate white ones? Those illiterate white ones? Like those, what? Um, we have a few chavs, but what we mainly have is something called scallies. Scallies travel in packs and wear matching tracksuits and hats called lowies, which are caps that have little brims on them and weird, they just look ridiculous. Um, and they are quite feared, I suppose, um, because in a group, a, any big group of people is quite scary, but, you know, they are known for being mischievous, is a, it's probably an understatement. Um, but I have quite a, a few friends who are um, scallies, and they're actually really nice people. One of them's writing a book. What well, you know, that's not what I expected from them. I just thought they killed people. All right, well, cheers for watching. Um, I'll probably see you Friday or Saturday with something a bit more creative. Um, 
yeah, subscribe, like, comment, annotations, oh, all those other things that YouTube likes to force on me. Ah, bye!